Say hi to Miss Munns. I turned this camera on so we can go look at her classroom because she got some new stuff. We're gonna follow Miss Munns. You have to lead the way. She got some new stuff for her classroom, and I got to help put it together. And I was so fascinated by it. She got it this weekend, so I was like, oh. And now I want one, but I have nowhere to put anything in my classroom. But look, so what is this? Uh, safety mat. Yeah, so what are y'all going to be doing with your rug? Well, we're going to be doing uh, education on the smart board. People who want to sit on the floor can sit on the floor. And they have a cushiony spot to sit down. Mm -hmm. We're going to learn that way so they can give them learning alternatives. See? Teachers, you got to be creative. And then I got to show you this brilliant wall. Can I show them this? Uh, yes. This, one of her students put that up. We know it's a little cricket, but... Hmm. They didn't have the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> they did not use the instructions. No. At all. No instructions were given, but this child needed something to do, and Miss Munns gave her a job. Yes, I did. That's what you do, teachers, when you need a break, keep them busy. But I'm proud of her room, and you see her layout? She can stand in the middle and manage. It's not this crazy triangle thing I got going on in mine. I want to change my room so bad now, because I want it to be like hers. But we have to go work because it's time for the children. Our planning period is up. So we gotta get ready for the children. But I want y'all to see her room. And y'all been asking, where's the other lady? Your name is the light skinned lady. Because oh. they can't remember Miss Munns apparently on YouTube. But where, where's the yellow woman? The yellow woman's back there. Her name is Miss Munns. Gotta get that. Okay, we're gone. Bye. Wait, where's Miss Munns? Miss Munns? We survived. We survived another day. It was it was a rough, a tough Monday. But wait, I gotta lock my door. We're going home. We're all leaving together. That's how you know it was a rough Monday. Cause I don't never leave with them. Well yeah, I did. I left last week, didn't I? Wait, Miss Ingham, you got wave. That is the other teammate. And what's our new name? We are the uh the we goats. Are the goats. The goats. Greatest yes. of all, all time. time. I think he's still getting his room together. He don't want to leave. His mind, look at her face. No, I'll get that, that is a corporate smile right now. <laughs> She's ready to go. I do got a question though. What is this? I'm trying to ask the kids. Let's see the what he's talking about. I I don't know. I, That's yeah. what they said. One student said you write on it and it does it up there. Oh, we can discover together, but not today. Because I don't know. We can we can play with it tomorrow. I'm gonna go turn off lights. All right, we all say bye to my teammate. Leave him alone. Leave her alone. And then she gonna go and tell her friends. Oh, I beat Brian up. You were scared. Oh my lord. <laughs> so right. we're talking about our kids today and yes. how they cut off. Y'all say hello to my team. Hello. We're gonna really? go to his room. He said he gotta clean up. Really? Where you at? I gotta find out. Ms. Munns, I gotta look at our inventory again. Okay. So we're gonna look at what we got. Our first team celebration is Thursday. Yay. Wait, where y'all at? I can't even hold the camera. Goats. We're the GOATs. Goats. The goats. I don't, what does it stand for? Oh Wait. my god. Oh. 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 Time. Come on, I was like, Ms. Munns. Greatest of all time. So we're gonna go follow them to their classrooms. But I'm, I wanna see how much damage Mr. Ingram has. This is first day teaching. No, second day. They cleaned up? I'm proud of you. Well then we're gonna follow Miss Munns to her classroom. You said you hope it's clean? No, it is clean. Oh, I'm proud of you. We got chips. If you got the munchies, you know where to come. Not promoting weed or anything. And then we got a bag of Doritos, plain Doritos. And they really like Takis. And brownies. Yeah, I know, but Takis are not. We are they on. They're killing kids. That's what they say. Okay. And I'm on a teacher budget. I really wanted to see how many cookies we got. So. Um, 
Is that enough for everybody? You say get one. Thank you, thank you, boy. I mean, that's a good thing. 21 times okay. 2, 42. Yeah. See, look at that math. Yeah. She went to college. And that's mine. And, and that's, that's uh, what I'm going to say. No, man. <laughs> Let us see that bottle of rope. Those are, <laughs> we got water for the children because they get thirsty. Don't tell them. How's that going to work? If they get thirsty? They, get they don't have to ask me. Swallow. Swallow. That's what my grandma used to say. Swallow your spit if you get thirsty. It hydrates. So, how did today go, guys? We survived. No one quit. We survived. No one quit. That's good. We Everybody thought about it. We did a switcheroo. We, we a, did. We a Will Smith today. How was that for you, your first day? It's good. I had to get the little babies together. The little babies. Next week you have mine. Okay. And then I get yours. Yeah. I probably have more children with yours than theirs. No, they actually pretty good. You see how uh -huh. he came from my class? Because they, 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 they don't want me. So they probably give me more issues. I think only two don't want you. The other two, yeah. I don't know. I know two who said they don't want to go to your phone. Mm -hmm. And you already know who they are because you have history with them. One has Rod in his name. Uh oh. Right. <laughs> yeah. So you know he was doing that cutting it. Right. And the other one is just lazy. And then Miss Miss Munn's floor um, has been attacked. It survived. They defaced my floor. She said they defaced her floor. Right yeah. there. Right here where they put the little poke. Were they picking at it? Yes, they were picking at it. I started to record earlier because I came into her room and they were dancing. And they were legit like getting it. Yes. What was that? Y'all were dancing. They were doing to? the floss. The floss. Oh Lord, not the floss. Yes. The floss. And they were having a blast. Yeah, they were getting fun. it. That was fun. I'm and gonna then, teach another electric slide. You gonna give him some soul. You know the history behind that sound? No. No, fill us in. Oh, my my like the last year. What was it? The electric slide mm -hmm. deals with a female mm -hmm. personal exotic pleasure. Really? The electric slide. That makes sense. It's so cool. I'm still lost. My IEP has returned. Okay. Oh my goodness. You say it's electric? It's mm -hmm. electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Uh huh. You can't hold it. It's electric. Wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. Wow. And you know it's something there, there, there and everywhere. And you feel it everywhere. He can sing too. But oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. Wow. I don't even want to. I found that out last year. Mm -hmm. And I was like. And we played at every family reunion. Every. Yes. And we've been singing, promote Lord. Yep. Right. <laughs> Swing, oh, swerve. Oh my God. Wow. I haven't. And I haven't actually danced to it since I, I heard I'm probably still dance to it. Right. <laughs> she Miss Munns be jamming when she in here by herself. She be getting it. Yeah. Or when I'm over there trying to work hard and plan, she be over here like twerking. I'm just kidding, not twerking. <laughs> but she be hood, hood rap music up in here. I'm like, oh my God. My, so I had to walk in the door and say, hey, Miss Munns. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, are you having a, a rough day? Happily married. Yes. Happily married, but she be getting it. I turn my phone down because we come in here though. He tells me I don't have to. I, she don't because I don't be doing nothing over there. But he be listening to Mozart. No. Wow. <laughs> I do play easy listening though on the jazz. I have to get here and sanctify my head. Look at him. He got jokes. I, I, what's on his playlist? He gets on the toy and glasses move around. I don't, you know? like him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like him. Let's, let's go look at his classroom. Since he got so much to say. Miss Munns, since the child has been moved, you, you, can, do, you can do this. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Today, I walked in. She said, this child defaced my wall. <laughs> I like this word, defaced. I believe it. Yes. I like that word, defaced. Mm. That's Why? Nice. I was like, I don't know, I just like the way it sounds. And look, no one went to the bathroom today? <laughs> Your class erased it because he said my board was too messy. Your board was too messy. Well, I know this right here is messy because I wrote it. You can erase that and write oh, it pretty. Oh, it works fine. I oh, can read it. Your four them been through some stuff. It turned into a one. Yes. 150. <laughs> That might be why I had trouble switching it. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, we need a bail system. We so do. Or something. Because I, every, when it was time to go, because she was like, time to come. I, I try not to bother them, but I go to their rooms like five times a day, <laughs> knocking on the door for different reasons. Hey, I got actual phone calls today. Look at you, Mr. Ingram. 
they know your extension. Once you know your extension. Even though I didn't know who it was calling, because the only one that came up right was just coming. Everybody else, I ain't know who that was. Really? I don't yeah. know your extension, but you're across the hall. It's uh, one. Sorry. I know mine's 116. You need to learn your 18. extension. 118. 18. What's yours? I'm guessing 117 since I'm in the middle. Right. That That's a sense. guess, though. Uh huh. Let me go check. It's on the phone. Look on your phone. We're gonna go find. We're gonna go learn our extensions. Miss Munns, you're supposed to know this kind of stuff. I do not, and I called somebody else besides so Jess the other day. Oh Lord. Why? 17. I was right. You are 17. Yes. Well, I know our director is 1,000 because he's Mr. 1,000, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I think that was his favoritism. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. Y'all, I don't even know why we're still here. Hello? Hello, Doc. He's so st <laughs> I don't understand. You know what this is? This Hang out the phones. I can't deal with them. Is it, he said tip tip. She said cheerio. I'm, go, I'm going to my classroom. I can't. Y'all, what time is it? Where's my watch? It I can't even grab it. It is 7:42. Why are we here? You know what? We're burnt out and we're delirious. We're so stressed, we had to laugh at our children. Ms. Munns didn't yell today, which I'm so proud of her. Miracles and blessings. She said miracles and blessings. Yeah, I didn't yell today. And, and this one here was over here having way too much fun. Oh, I had a good enough. You know what? I'm done. So, the, this is my team, the goats. We got to figure out, Ms. Munns suggested we do a mascot. I don't know how that's going to work. And, and a t-shirt. A clock. A clock? Yes. Stuck in time. Cause we're oh, the greatest. because we're the... I know that's right. I was thinking maybe they changed yeah. But guess who was there? Then I'm going to get us some shirts. And some lanyards with our names on it. Ah. Yeah, we're going to be official. I, they going to feel some type of way when you go to your other job, though. I better get over it. I wear the wrong badge here all the time, so it's okay. This one's I'm on the back. I'm still waiting on mine. You don't have one yet? No, the machine has been down for two weeks. Darn. You know what? <laughs> No comment. That says a lot about the district. That's all I'm going to say. Exactly. Ratchetness. But it's okay. We all work for Ratchet District. <laughs> yep. That's the old picture. Yes. Pro done bro. Pro done bro since She got that miracle. Yes, right. <laughs> On that note, we're saying goodnight. It's time to go home. Eyes in the little, the yeah. little use. <laughs> they're, they're hating because my, see how it says Coach B. Because you can't just say Coach B. It has to be Coach B. Oh, so he lets us know how you say your name, yeah. Mr. Z Ingram. Mr. Z Ingram. Uh, Mr. Right Z Ingram. Yeah. And then you have Miss A Munn. Well, actually, my name is Egg Rose. Egg Rose. My <laughs> child called him Egg Rose today. <laughs> I want to know how that works. I'm, I've actually heard that one before. You see? The, first, the newest one I've heard is Igloo. And that was Igloo. Actually, Mr. Igloo. Igloo. Mr. Igloo. Oh my God. I need help, Mr. Igloo. Hand me my Chromebook, Mr. Igloo. <laughs> I hope I got all my chairs back. I got mine. Minus one. Minus one. Well, then you don't. That's not it. Because you're giving me that thing. Uh -huh. I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, oh, Roland, they changed the Chromebook. See how nice his room is? Well, they did, they did. Let's look at Miss Munn. Oh, Lord. I'm getting ready to put. Look, hold on. Let me film. Let me show y'all. So, this is the trash the children have put on the floor. The trash bag along with a shirt or something here. And she rearranged the room for them because this is where the team celebration took place. And they just left. It. And I'm getting ready to take this trash out for you. Stephanie suggested that we. No. <laughs> that we do it at the gym for now. Okay. You might want to get that big one if you're going to put it up. Okay. My room was going to 50% of trash anyway. No. Y'all see her room? We were talking about her room earlier. Can I get the room? Look at it. It's been through life. It's got experience. It had a long run. Oh, I got me in the dustpan. Wow. You know what? <laughs> Mr. Ingram, where's the dustpan? Because you were cleaning out your room. It's my dustpan. It's my dustpan, Mr. Ingram. He's going to get you the real one. Because you've been yeah. using that paper one. Lord. Hold up your dustpan. Let everybody... On. All our teacher friends on YouTube see. She let her projects come out. This, this is, is her. A dustpan. 
Yeah. That's her first. That's her first. You said you, you know you had some projects in. Yes, I did. Yeah, we did that too. Oh, yeah. my Lord. Okay, I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to take out trash. And then I'm going to come back and talk about them some more because I'm flabbergasted right now. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It is Coach B. So, I am, first of all, y'all have to excuse my attire because this is not my normal attire, but it's Thursday, so it's jean day and campus shirt day and, or oh, team shirts is what we're calling them. And I have the cardigan on because it's cold outside. And I literally was driving out in my neighborhood and did a U turn. And I was like, dude, this is crazy. It's legit cold out here. So we skipped fall in North Carolina, went right into winter, and here I am. So yeah, this don't match, I don't think, but hey, I really don't care. I'm comfortable, and my classroom is chilly because I'm right near the front of the building. So it's always cold in my classroom, so it's okay. But it gets hot when the kids get in here and I have to start working. So. But um, what I wanted to talk to you about today, well, first of all, I'm hyped because today is our first team celebration. The GOATs are celebrating as a team. So we have a team here, um, and it's three of us on our team. It's Miss Munns, myself, and Mr. Ingram, who you met earlier this week. And uh, we do it once a month, and each of us have, um, we have, it's like, the celebration is an incentive. I do it based on grades. Ms. Munns does it by behavior, and I'm not sure how Mr. Ingram is going to do it. He bounced off some ideas, but I don't know which one he's going to go with yet. Um, and at the end of the month, we celebrate as a team the accomplishments of our students. Um, we do everything from attendance. Uh, well, this first one is just based on behavior and grades. But for the November team celebration, we're going to do it based on attendance, behavior, grades, improvement, and then we may have some other things that we vote on, but different awards we give out. And uh, I'm just excited because for number one, they a lot of them really worked hard. Yesterday, grades were due, and I told them, I said, look, in my class, I have to have 80 or higher to attend the celebration. And if you don't, all of the kids who don't make the cut, basically, they hang out with me. So I don't know if y'all will get to see the celebration take place because I have punishment duty even though we don't call it punishment that's what I'm going to call it um, I'll be the one all the kids who can't go to the celebration will be in my classroom and uh, I'm going to have something for them to do and yeah they'll be kicking it with me and doing some work uh, a lot of it I can say I know in my class uh, some of them several who are not going it's because they didn't do the work I have some yesterday I was frustrated I started grading um, in fact, I finished all my grades yesterday. I have to, when I finish this, I need to do my comments and print them off so I can give them to the kids today and they can take them home. Because uh, these will be considered our official progress reports because it's showing the progress from day one to now. And um, some of them, I saw some of the grades and some of them are really low. I have one student in Google Classroom, he marked everything done, but he did nothing. Um, and I'm livid at him because he's been smiling, he's been nice, and I know that he, last year he gave me a lot of trouble and me and his mother met one time, we had to have a little powwow, and his mother is a former teacher, and it's like, dude, are you serious? You sat up here, because I'm thinking he's doing his work when I walk around, it's on Google Classroom, he's typing stuff, he did all his stuff in Flipgrid. And then I'm looking at his grade and I'm going through and I'm like, maybe I'm missing something or maybe I didn't grade it. And I'm looking at stuff, nothing. Next assignment, nothing. We have gone through 20 assignments that are on this grading period alone. And he has done like two, I think. I can't, I'm not going to say what the grade is because I get fired. But it's low, like low, low. And it is ridiculous. And the child is capable. I don't even know why he opted out of not doing his work, but I just know it's not done. So anyway, he's not going to get to go, and I'm quite sure he's going to fight me on it, and he's going to, I'm going to hear, Coach, why wow, Coach tripping? And it's like, oh my goodness. But it's all about accountability is the goal. 
and before we had no team support system here and that's something that I really wanted us to do is as a building in the classrooms there were a lot of you had your rules and your standards and each of us did our own thing like I would throw a party in my room and then the other classes would see it and that teacher would have issues with the kids because they see my kids having a party everybody wanted to be with coach B now I try to get the teachers to get involved and then it just got out of hand it went from teachers throwing parties to just teachers just feeding kids because they're trying to shut up a child and it's like I had to re I had to reteach and reteach the concept of a reward system or classroom economy or uh, pros and cons and teaching the whole goal is to keep teach self-control accountability how to earn things the things are not given to you I have to work and earn them and the teachers were young and they were missing that concept you know so yeah that did not work last year so this year um, I have a a more seasoned team I'll say and um, it was easier for us to really sit down and plan and because I started at the beginning of the year versus last year I came in mid-year uh, we were able to sit down and plan and strategically figure out what we wanted to do uh, we set goals together we have building agreements um, we don't have rules here we have can do's and what that is is we go ahead and let the students know what they can do over what they can't do and um, because they hear that all day uh, you can't do this you can't do that so what we do tell them we give them a guideline now you can do this you can do that and we shy away from saying what they can't do and I've seen proven results in my room of that working so um, in short today is the team celebration and we're finally going to celebrate all of the accomplishments um, over the past few weeks and I'm, I'm pleased to say that uh, my team has done a great job. Uh, Ms. Munns and I went and got stuff. Mr. Ingram, um, he lucked out this time. But for the November team celebration, he's going to have to help us. Because uh, we got to do, it's like you have to outdo yourself every time too. So we're starting off small. We're going to work over to the big stuff. Uh, Christmas is when I do, we get really fancy. You know, you have a big old pizza party. Um, and stuff like that but I try not to do pizza and ice cream until like the end of the year or it's something really 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 special otherwise it's donuts and um, the kids may vote on what they want like a giant cookie or a giant brownie D different things or we may make something you know um, have them prepare something and then serve it because you can make stuff without using the oven like uh, Hershey pies and Oreo pies and stuff like that they love that kind of stuff so um, that's one of the things we did last year as well. So I'm excited. It's our team celebration. I said all that to say um, that you really want to give your kids an incentive. And that this kind of ties into my teacher to teacher moment too. Is I think we get so busy uh, working as teachers, you forget that you have to plan with your team and that you're not in it alone. And it's important to constantly make sure that you're um, you're listening and not just being heard. What I see in other teams um, as I go and observe classes or I sit in on department meetings is everyone's talking and there's not enough listening. And if you are a department chair like I am, you just have to really keep a mental note. First of all, you don't respond. You do not nod your head. You don't shake your head. You just listen. And you be the last to speak. You don't come in and start your meeting. Okay, well, we need to talk about this behavior. No, no, no. Go around the room, let everyone else speak first. And you be the very last one to speak. And don't shake your head again. Don't nod your head. Don't confirm or deny anything. Just listen and, and take notes. And um, at the, after everyone has spoken, you can either add to, and if you disagree, you know, you can use one of your own sentence stems and say, I heard what you said, but I disagree. And then show your perspective. And together you can collaborate um, maybe a... Um, a counteract to what students are doing in the classroom. You can come together with a plan to bridge the gap. Whatever it is, you guys can collectively um, really change the fabric of your building or, or the productivity, increase the productivity in your building um, just by collaborating and talking things out and, and making sure you're being heard. And I learned that this year um, because all of us are different. Um, and I really appreciate that. Ms. Munns is more stern. Mr. Ingram is... He's, I want to say he's, and I, this is hard for me to say, but he's funnier than me, and he's a clown, and the kids love that. I've, all, I've always been marked as the funny one, so it's hard to admit. So 
I appreciate that and it's important that you appreciate the attributes of your team. It makes you guys stronger. I gotta get to work. I'll catch up with y'all later. But remember that. That's a good nugget for you. It's gonna all work out sooner than later. You don't have to worry about tomorrow. It's gonna work out in your favor.